Begin by safely raising and supporting the vehicle and removing the wheels. If you need additional assistance with those tasks, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. For ease of handling the caliper during the removal process, you may want to loosen the wheel speed sensor attached to the wheel carrier. Begin by using a 10 mm socket and remove the screw holding the electrical cable red arrow. Remove the 5 mm hex screw red arrow holding the wheel speed sensor and pull it up and out of the wheel carrier. You will need to disconnect the wear sensor from the electrical line. To access this electrical connector, red arrow, rotate the electrical connector and slide it out of the mount. Release the electrical connector by using a flathead screwdriver and rotating to release the clip, red arrow. With the wear sensor disconnected and the wires loosened, remove the two T55 torque caliper mounting bolts, red arrows. Always replace these bolts. They are considered single use only. Once the caliper can be removed from the rotor, you will need to handle it carefully as to not stress or damage the brake line. Never let the caliper hang by the brake line brake line snaps or starts to bleed, you will need to replace the line and bleed the system. If you are leaving it connected to the line and are not immediately working on the replacement pads, you must support the weight of the caliper with a rope or hanger. If you're going to work on it right away, have a sturdy surface you can work on that is the same height of the rotor. You're going to be pushing the pistons back into the calipers. This will cause the brake fluid in the system to move back up into the reservoir. Open the front trunk and remove the access panel for the brake fluid reservoir, red arrow. Make sure there is room in the fluid reservoir for the fluid you're pushing back in. If the pads are really worn and the fluid level is between the max and minimum line on the reservoir, you may need to suction a little out. Make sure whatever you use to suction is clean. You do not want any dirt or debris getting in the fluid and constantly check as you are compressing the pads back. Use a brake pad spreader and compress the pads outwards, pushing the pistons back into the caliper. If you don't have a spreader, you can use a C-clamp. Use a set of pliers to remove the old wear sensors. If your wear sensor has activated, you cannot reuse them. The sensor connects to the inboard and outer pad on the front, red arrow. The pads can now be pulled out of the caliper. The pads or pad retaining plates are stuck to the pistons. Use a trim removal tool to help separate the pads using care around the pistons and the dust boots. Installation is the reverse of removal. Apply a small amount of anti-squeal to the back of the pads where they contact the pistons. Make sure to remove any dust buildup inside the caliper. Remember to top up the brake fluid as needed and pump the brake pedal a few times before driving to set the new pads. Brake pads need to be properly bedded or broken in. Break in your pads according to the manufacturer of the type of pads you purchased. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.